Hey class, just a little help with uh, question four from the 9.2 interactive assignment. Rather than using the table for the t-distribution, I'm going to show you how you can use the t-distribution calculator in StackCrunch to do these problems. So the first problem in 9.2.7, which is the first question in objective three, it says find the t-value such that the area in the right tail is 0.25 with seven degrees of freedom. So under stat calculators, click on T. The first box is for the degrees of freedom, and in this problem that was 7. This problem asks about the right tail, so I'll use the greater than or equal to symbol, and then I need to type the area in the right-hand box, which was 0.25. When I press compute, there is the value for T. Rounding that to three places, that's 7. I'm sorry, that's 0.711. So back in the homework, 0.711, check answer, excellent. On to part B, find the T value so that the area in the right tail is 0.005 with 24 degrees of freedom. Go back to the calculator, 24 degrees of freedom. Uh, it's still the right tail, but this time the area is 0.005. Press compute, and there's our T value to three places. That's 2.797. Back to the homework and type that in. Check the answer. Good job. Here we're looking for the area to the left of the T value, and we don't even need to use symmetry if we're using the T calculator. The degrees of freedom in that problem we were told were 20. I switched the sign to be less than or equal to for a left tail. And then I enter the area in the right-hand box, which was 0 0.01, compute, and I see negative 2.528 rounded to three places. Check answer, fantastic. And finally, the last part. Now we're talking about a confidence interval, 70% confidence. That's 70% on the inside 30% on the outside in those two tails. We divide that in half, that gives us 0.15 in each tail, 15%. So back to the calculator, degrees of freedom are 27. I'm going to switch it to greater than or equal to because I do need the right tail value for a confidence interval. And then I will enter that area that we calculated, 0.15, click compute. And to three places, that's 1.057. Come back to the homework and type that in. Check answer. Nice work. Hope that helps you out. You can also use this tool in one of the homework problems where they ask you to construct a confidence interval and you're not given data. You will need the T value and you can find it just like we did here in part D.